Hello, church family. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Daily Devos. My name is Rob. I'm one of the high school pastors. Today's devotion brings us to Numbers chapter 18. Now, this passage in scripture, it's broken up into two different sections, the duties of the priests and the Levites and support for the priests and the Levites. So in the first section, God is establishing some ground rules with the priestly line, which was Moses' brother, that's Aaron, his sons, and their descendants. They were directly accountable to God because they were the ones that God had chosen to be the mediator between him and the people. And with great authority comes great responsibility. See, God never gives authority without accountability. If God gives someone headship and expects others to submit to them, God also has a special accountability for that person. So in the words of Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. But uh, great responsibility, it does come with its share of blessings. See, in the Old Testament, this passage here, the priests, they were given portions of the offerings that people would bring to the temple. This was a sacred duty of the people, uh, much like it's a sacred duty of you and I to bring our tithe uh, before the Lord. And God called this exchange a covenant of salt. Why? Well, because salt speaks primarily of purity, of preservation, and of expense. Three critical attributes that our hearts should possess when we bring our offerings, our time, our talent, our treasures before the Lord. See, salt stays pure as a chemical compound. A covenant of salt is an enduring covenant. It lasts, it preserves, and a covenant of salt is a valuable covenant. See, back then, salt was expensive. According to custom, a bond of friendship was established through the eating of salt. It was said that once you had eaten a man's salt, you were his friend for life. And man, if that was the case today, I would have a lot of friends because I love salt. You can ask my doctor. As we read on though, we discover that the priests, they weren't allowed to own any land. And why not? Well, God says in verse 24 that he is to be their portion and their inheritance. Man, what a sweet place to be. What a precious place to be able to agree in your heart with the psalmist who writes in Psalm chapter 16, verse 5, the Lord is my portion. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. Psalm chapter 73, verse 26 says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion. And then Psalm 142, verse 5 says, I cried out to you, O Lord. I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. And when God is our portion, he is our inheritance, our hope who we trust for our future. We're satisfied in him. And since we are a royal priesthood, like 1 Peter 2, 9 says, we all have the Lord for our portion. So today, wherever you find yourself, may God be enough. May you find yourself delighting in his presence today. And don't forget, tune in tonight uh, or tomorrow for our weekend services. You can find them at northcoastcalvary.org. God bless you.